Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the Hesse. We have been working on the vocabulary words that you will find in chapter 3 of this book right here the Hesse Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. In addition to the vocabulary lessons, if you need help in the math portion of the exam, we have solved every single math problem that you will find in this book. You will find the, you will find the solutions to all the problems in our HESI series from day 1 through 50. Just type in HESI math day 1 through 50. If you need more help in math, you will find that the math that you will encounter on the HESI is very comparable to what one encounters on T's. And there are 80 videos in that series, T's, Math, Day 1 through Day 80, and that will get you some more practice. Let's get going. We are on page number 51. The very first word, very first word we have to do today is number 77. Inflammation. Inflammation. What does it mean? Let's first take care of the pronunciation. In flow may shun. That is what we do. That is what we always do. We make a point of putting down the pronunciation of the word, no matter how simple the pronunciation may be. It's a noun, inflammation. Inflammation is simply a localized uh, swelling, localized redness that you have. It's not something that's widespread. It is a localized heat or redness or swelling or even pain or even pain that one might uh, that one might experience due to one might experience due to irritation That is not how you spell irritation. It's very irritating when one cannot spell irritation. Due to irritation, injury, or infection. It could be any of those reasons. You might feel a swelling, you might feel redness, or you might uh, so have a sense of heat. It's localized and it is usually due to irritation or injury or infection. And the word is inflammation. Let's move on. The next word we have is number 78. Ingest. Ingest, which simply means to swallow. To swallow, of course, it's the word swallow. The noun of ingest is ingestion. To ingest simply simply means to swallow it. Let's move on. Next word, number seventy-nine. The word is initiate. Initiate. What does it mean to initiate? It's a word which simply means to to begin something. To begin something. To start something to put something into practice to put to put something into practice to put something into practice for example for example you might say that we will initiate our advertising campaign on the 1st of January we have it in place it's all done 
we're going to initiate it, our, we will initiate our advertising campaign on the television from the 1st of January. We'll begin from the 1st of January, we'll begin it from the 1st of January, we'll start it from the 1st of January, we'll commence it from 1st of January to commence. I'm not 100% sure, I'm not entirely sure of the spelling, but the word is commence, to start, to initiate. Let's go on. Number 80. Number 80. The word is The word is insidious. In sid e us insidious. What does it mean when you describe something as insidious? It's adjective right here. It's an adjective. What does it mean? Let's put it on the top. Let's first put down. Let's first put down the definition exactly as it appears in the book, and then we'll put it in our own words. Insidious, according to the book, means something that happens happening so gradually so gradually as to not become apparent or detectable for a long time. So if you describe something as insidious, that means something is going on, something is happening, but it happens, but it happens so slowly and so gradually that it is very difficult to detect in the early stage. And such a scenario is said to be insidious. Insidious. Let's put down let's put down the definition slightly differently. Insidious simply means working or spreading working or spreading usually harmfully harmfully but in a in a subtle manner in a subtle and subtle and stealthy manner and it is harmful. It's harmful, it starts out but it's very difficult to detect, it's very difficult to find out that it's going on because it happens so gradually, it happens in such an such a such an it's it's stealthy manner. Such a scenario is said to be insidious, such as cancer. Like cancer. Which is why which is why the doctors are so keen on detecting cancer in its early stage because earlier you catch it the easier it is to tackle it but it is very difficult to detect it in the early stage because it is insidious it doesn't appear all of a sudden a big lump that you find right away because it, it starts out in a very small amount it happens very gradually it goes on very slowly in a very stealthy in a very subtle way and such a situation is said to be insidious such a situation is said to be insidious First, the Prime Minister's wife showed up with a scarf around her face. The next day, the scarf gets longer. And before you know it, you see her in a full-fledged hijab. Well, that's pretty insidious. Because that's when, that's when Mustafa begins to turn in his grave. By now, 